Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Mio Books. Uh, today we will go through some problem books in mathematics. So we have about 11 books, uh, problems in descriptive geometry, selected problems in, and theorems in elementary mathematics, problems in geometry, linear algebra, applied probability, then problems in mathematics, uh, book of problems in ordinary differential equations, uh, then uh, Sipkin's famous book methods of solving problems in high school mathematics then we have high school mathematics problems book questions and problems in high school mathematics and finally problems in mathematical statistics so we'll go through one by one uh, so first uh, we'll go through the book problems in descriptive geometry uh, so along with problems and typical solutions the book gives brief theoretical information which is particularly valuable for students working without the guidance of a teacher. A complete theoretical background is presented in another mere publisher's production. So I think uh, this is the book uh, they are talking about, a descriptive, uh, sorry, a course in descriptive geometry. Uh, so we will go through this book briefly. So this book was published in 1972 but this edition is 1982 fourth, uh, fourth printing. So what, what we have part one, uh, orthogonal pro projection, then part two, the plane, uh, part three, the method of revolution, displacement parallel to the projection planes, then we have polyhedron cut by a plane. Uh, so part five, review questions. So there is a basic theoretical, uh, theoretical part is covered. And after that, uh, check up questions available. So here there are uh, so many examples. So uh, then uh, there are many problems uh, since this is a problems book. So as you can see, there are this is a problems book. So there are tons of uh, examples. Uh, solved problems are there also there are uh, lots of uh, problems so this is uh, an interesting problem construct the traces of the plane p in the system v o h1 so it is a continuous continuation of uh, example 240 i think so the interesting part is numbers are printed in color so there are so many questions and uh, so uh, there is a damage insect hole but uh, only slightly to the pages so uh, Christopher Artemius uh, Aristomov so you can read about him he has written a number of manuals on descriptive geometry so in the back uh, they have given two books work problems in descriptive geometry and a course in descriptive geometry so this is the uh, course in descriptive geometry book and the next book is uh, selected problems and theorems in elementary mathematics arithmetic and algebra so what we have here this book contains 350 problems in algebra arithmetic and number theory the methods of solving the problems are described in detail while at the end of the book the answers are given and also hints to the most difficult problems. The book is intended for senior pupils, also for interested in uh, adult readers interested in mathematics. So this book was published in uh, sorry print, published and printed in 1979. Yes. So okay. Uh, so here we go. Uh, introductory problems. Then. Uh, the interesting part is uh, you can see there are many branches of mathematics uh, problems are in page up to 70 uh, so solutions after that uh, we have solutions going up to page for more than 400 pages so we will go through the book so there are there is initial instructions on how to solve the problems and all then we have the problems here so these are uh, tough problems, as you can see. So 
so you can see the problems are a bit difficult like Olympiad style problems uh, complex numbers okay up to page 70 we have problems after that uh, we have solutions solutions are uh, uh, explained uh, thoroughly as you can see here for each and every problem there are solutions so as you can see uh, pro solutions are available for more than al almost all the problems but for some i think there are only uh, hints are available So yes, uh, that's the end of the book. Uh, here you can see for last few problems only hints available. So what are the books there? Other mere titles, Elementary Mathematics and Problems in Elementary Mathematics. Okay. So next book, next book is uh, Problems in Geometry by P.S. Modernoff. Okay, so this present text is a collection of problem solving optional areas of study in elementary geometry. The method of coordinates, geometrical, geometric transformations, the use of complex, complex numbers and others. Many problems are accompanied by detailed solutions or brief hints. So this text is designed for teachers of secondary school mathematics for interested students for all lovers of mathematics. So you can read about the author here. Okay, we'll go into the book. Uh, this book was published in 1981. So this book was in, published in 1981. So initially we have vector algebra, then analytic geometry, the use of complex numbers in plane geometry. So uh, then inversion, uh, chapter 5 basic definitions, theorems and formulas. So as you can see from chapter 3, uh, we have from page 82 to 313. So uh, in preface, what has the text offers certain general methods of solving problems in elementary geometry and is designed for teachers of mathematics in secondary schools and also for senior students. Okay, so initially vector algebra. After that, uh, we have analytic geometry. And is uh, then complex numbers in plane geometry. So this book is actually unread. That's why it's a bit difficult to open. So interesting part is a uh, few couple of weeks back, uh, a university in UK ordered a book. Plane geometry. So it's problems in geometry. So this is the book problems in geometry so here about the publishers and in the back of the book two books are mentioned the higher geometry by n efimov and geometry by p andrew and the hardcover is beautiful green color so that's the book problems in geometry so the next book is a linear algebra problems book by hd ikramov so first we have uh, about the author uh, on the last back of the hard uh, dust jacket we have about the book this book has been written with the needs in mindset of first year applied mathematics students so uh, including the topics of modern computational algebra like norms of matrices condition numbers approximate solutions of systems of linear equations uh, so this book was uh, published in 1983 so uh, 40 plus years uh, initial first chapter linear spaces euclidean and unitary spaces determinants systems of linear equations linear operators and matrices 
then we have linear operator structure unitary space operators metric problems in linear space uh, so this is the preface uh, let's go through the book briefly uh, so this is how the book starts so next uh, we have problems So there are many problems for each and every chapter. So this is the uh, chapter one. Already have uh, part three, forty-three problems, forty-four something like that. So part four, forty-three problems. So let's see in chapter one how many problems are there. Uh, it's almost more than uh, five minutes, more than two hundred fifty problems. So Euclidean and unitary spaces. So as you can see, this is not for a beginner. So finally, they have given the answers and solutions. So here, these are hints to solve the problems and. Uh, yeah, this is the la last chapter, chapter 8. After that, we have in hints from page 253. Then answers and solutions. Okay, this book is Linear Algebra Problems Book. Uh, the next book is Applied Problems in Probability Theory. Event Cell and L. Ocharov. So, Event Cell. So, Professor Elena Wenzel, DSC, graduated from Leningrad State University and then lectured for a long time at the Zukoski Air Force Engineering Academy, where she also did research. So, we'll go through the book briefly. This book was published in 1986. Uh, so, in the author's preface, this book is based on many years of experience of teaching probability theory and its applications at higher education establishments. It contains many of the problems we ourselves encountered in our research and cumulative work. The problems are related to a variety of fields including electrical engineering, radio engineering, data transmission, computers, information systems, reliability of technical devices, preventive maintenance and repair, accuracy of apparatus, consumer service, transport and the health service so there are 11 chapters uh, final chapter is queuing theory so there is initially brief introduction to the chapter then directly it goes to problems yeah here from here we have the problems from page uh, 14. As you can see, problems easily getting interesting. So this is uh, chapter 5, there are tons of problems and uh, brief answers are here, below the problems. So final chapter, the queuing theory. So it looks like uh, they haven't given the answers separately, it's all uh, under the question, yeah, under the problem itself, there is uh, answers. Yeah, here, uh, problem and solution for each and every problem. So, I will go to bibliography. So, bibliography part, uh, they have mentioned some books. Uh, second one is the theory of probability. So, that book is this is the book the theory of probability by mere publishers moscow 
so here this is about professor lu alexandrovich of cherov okay here it, the uh, this book contains large number of problems that pertain to various applied sciences mainly technology each chapter starts with a brief summary of the theoretical concepts necessary for solving the problems most problems contain not only answers but also worked out solutions which demonstrate the various approaches this book is intended for engineers and also for students and instructors who wish to master the probabilistic methods of solving applied problems then we have about the mere publishers so this hardcover is an interesting one dark blue applied problems in probability theory our next book is problems in mathematics with hints and solutions there are four authors Govorov, Dybov, uh, Miroshin, Smirnov uh, so about the book uh, this is a collection of problems that have been set recently during oral and written examination at uh, examination high schools in the USSR more than 120 institutions have contributed including all the universities the authors of the book have for many years helped set the student examinations in mathematics at Moscow State University and at the Moscow Institute of Physics and Engineering. The material they have gathered and the experience is the basis for this collection of problems. So we will go through the book. Uh, this book was uh, published in 1986 but this copy is print, second printing 1990. So here the preface, the, the, the book contains more than 3000 mathematics problems and covers each topic taught at school. The book is divided into four parts, algebra and trigonometry, fundamentals of analysis, geometry and vector algebra and the problems and questions set during oral examinations. The authors considered it necessary to include some material relating to complex numbers, combinatorics, the binomial theorem, elementary trigonometric inequalities and set theory and the method of coordinates. Uh, the most more difficult problems are marked with asterisk. So here is the content. Here are the contents: algebra and trigonometry in elementary functions. Uh, One point one four complex numbers solution of problems and derivative equations. Then fundamentals of mathematical analysis are also available. Then we have geometry and vector algebra. Finally, oral examination problems and questions, sample examination papers, problems set at an oral examination. So finally, we have hints and answers. So this is uh, a uh, uh, problems book and it contains more than 3000 uh, questions. So here you can see uh, problems are pretty interesting. Mathematical induction, elements of combinatorics, binomial theorem. So here we have systems of equations and inequalities. Uh, we are in, still in chapter one. Yes. So you can see it. Ident transformations of trigonometric expressions. So here there are tons of uh, prove the following identities. Then progressions. After that uh, we have solution. Solution of problems on derivative of equations. Uh, then finally complex numbers. So this is part two, uh, chapter two, the derivative, antiderivative, the integral. So part three, uh, chapter three, vector algebra, geometry and vector algebra. Uh, this is problem set at an oral examination. So these are uh, problems set at an oral examination, and uh, as you can see, they are really interesting. Finally, we have hints and uh, answers to part one. This are for part two.
as you can see there are, this book is book contains more than 3000 problems okay finally about the publishers uh, this is one of my favorite book because the hard cover is very beautiful it is a dark blue color uh, problems in mathematics written embossed on, on it uh, the next book is a book of problems in ordinary differential equations by ml krasnov ai kizalyov g i makarenko so ml krasnov has a book uh, ordinary differential equations it's a beautiful orange color and this is a small book uh, containing five chapters so we'll go through the book and uh, uh, the, this problem book contains exercises for courses in differential equations at technical institutes. Um, each section, section be, uh, begins with a summary of basic facts and comprises worked out examples of typical problems. The book contains 967 problems. So this book is intended for students of technical institutes. Uh, let's see the year this book was published. Uh, 1981 first published in 1981 english edition uh, let's go through the contents uh, first chapter differential equations of the first order basic concepts and definitions equations of the form f y y dash equals zero and f x y dash equals zero problems in trajectories uh, miscellaneous problems then chapter two is differential equations of higher orders then chapter 3 systems of differential equations then uh, chapter 4 stability theory so let's go through the book uh, differential equations of the first order so initially basic introduction is given including the theorems then here After each part, you can find the problems. Uh, so this one. So it's, uh, as mentioned earlier there are 967 problems so these are answers yeah yeah these are answers so 967 problems totally and you can see uh, answers are given for uh, not for all Oh, no, 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 it's given for each and every problem. Okay, this is the book uh, on the back cover. It's all about the publishers. Uh, the next book is Methods of Solving Problems in High School Mathematics by A. Sipkin and A. Pinsky. Uh, about the book, uh, this the book contains principal methods of solving high school problems in mathematics. In addition to the traditional problems from the course of high school mathematics, it includes methods for solving simple differential and integral calculus problems as well as problems which require the use of the method of coordinates and the methods of vector. It also includes the necessary theor theoretical material. The exposition of the methods is followed by typical work examples. Some problems are left for the reader to solve intended for senior students of high school and technical schools uh, so this book was published in 1986 so what are the contents chapter 1 algebraic equations and systems of equations then we have logarithms exponential and logarithmic equations chapter 3 inequalities chapter 4 trigonometry chapter 5 complex numbers chapter 6 sequences this is one of my favorite books uh, chapter 7 limit of a function Chapter 8 derivative and its applications, the antiderivative and the integral problems on deriving equations, plane geometry. Chapter 2 is solid geometry, the method of coordinates, combinatorics, the binomial theorem. 
and the uh, theory of probabilities. Uh, this book contains uh, about 2500 problems for readers to solve. Uh, it was rather difficult to attend the aim of authors set for themselves. On one hand, a detailed classification of problems by methods of solution would require the consideration of a large number of concrete problems and on, on the other hand, a schematic classification would not yield a useful aid for solving different kinds. Uh, here we can read uh, chapter 6 to 9 contain problems in mathematical analysis. Many of this should be solved using traditional high school mathematics. Chapter 30 includes some very difficult problems in geometry whose solution can be considerably simplified with the use of vectors and the method of coordinates. So we'll go through the book. Uh, basic introduction is given. After that, uh, uh, one, one or two examples are given and uh, there are many different kind of sol problems to solve. So as you can see, that's how this book is organized. So if the if uh, if a question is marked with asterisk, this 1.3, it's a bit challenging. Okay, we'll go through the book. Uh, there are more than 2,500 problems. So as you can see, uh, problems are super interesting. So chapter three inequality is. So here we are in trigonometry, identity transformations. So during my my high, st high school high studies, pro uh, identity proving identities is my, one of my favorite topics. And uh, so there are tons of problems here. So this is uh, complex numbers. These are motion problems, problems on deriving equations, uh, triangles and circles. This is solid geometry. So these are methods of coordinates. Uh, so problem solutions, uh, answers and hints are given for almost all the problems. So that's the end of the book. So you can read about the author here. Authors. So this is one of my favorite books. Uh, this is about the publishers. The next book is Problem Book in High School Mathematics. So about the book. This collection of problems is a useful aid to high school students who intend to enter technical colleges. The book consists of nine chapters divided into sections, each of which deals with a certain theme. The problems on a definite theme are arranged in the order of increasing difficulty, which makes it possible for a student to gradually acquire the necessary techniques and experience in solving problems. Uh, this book was published in 1985. So. And this book contains more than 2,000 problems and examples covering all divisions of high school mathematics. So we'll go to the go through the contents: rational equations, then transcendental functions, equations and inequalities. Chapter three: problems on deriving equations and inequalities. Uh, the entire derivative and the integral progressions and number sequences. Elements of factor algebra, plane geometry. Solid geometry, finally, miscellaneous problems. So, from the first page itself, there's no explanations, only the problems are given. So, as you can see, only the problems. As, as they have mentioned, uh, problems increase in difficulty. So, this, this is an interesting pro equation. So these books are not read, that's why it's difficult to turn the pages. The, uh, so this is the answer part, so give me a second, we'll go to chapter 9, problems in algebra, miscellaneous problems. So here are some miscellaneous problems here, uh, from throughout the chap from all the chapters. And uh, then we come to uh, answers. 
then we have uh, answers hints and solutions so as you can see these are pretty interesting problems from page 139 we have answers for each and every problem okay that's the end of this book so the next book is questions and problems in high school mathematics solomonic and uh, conrad pufa so this book was uh, published in 1987 and as you can see in the age of scientific and technical progress mathematics penetrates many fields of economy this book is intended for intended for all those who wish to enter technical colleges and aims to help students to revise the material they studied at school and consolidate their skills at solving the problems and questions which they will encounter during the entrance examinations to the technical colleges so here they have given the answers but uh, but we advise the reader only to turn to the answers and solutions after long and fruitless consideration of the problem so we'll go to the contents uh, chapter one elements of arithmetic and algebra then chapter two elements of geometry then sample examination papers uh, questions and problems for an oral examination then chapter five more difficult problems uh, then we have answers hints and solutions okay we'll go through the book so uh, initial, the question starts on the page one itself uh, basic theoretical uh, concepts are available here laws of addition laws of multiplication as you can see it's uh, filled with problems as this uh, problems book then we have problem solving as you can see these problems are pretty interesting sorry since these are unused books uh, i can't when i open it's difficult to hold them so these are paper questions so these are paper paper one paper two so these are a bit, little bit difficult problems so finally we have answers uh, hints and solutions for each and every questions so they have suggested methods of solving problems in high school mathematics which the book which saw earlier so this is the book questions and problems in high school mathematics so the last book in the video is problems in mathematical statistics so this is a used book uh, not by me i don't know who used this uh, this book was published in 1991 so what are the theory and problems we have principles of statistical description sampling characteristics and their distributions Estimation of distribution parameters, tests of statistical hypothesis, linear regression and the least square method, decision functions, statistics of stationary sequences. On page 137, we have answers and solutions. Uh, this problem book covers all the traditional topics in modern statistical method theory and is designed for students at technical colleges and universities who have mathematical statistics as an obligatory course. So I couldn't find how many problems are here. More difficult problems are marked with an asterisk and may require significant effort on the part of the reader. So initially theoretical principles are mentioned for a few pages for each chapter. After that the problems starts. So for page chapter 1 from page 22 you can see the problems. So problems look pretty interesting but uh, highly advanced. This is chapter 2. There's a damage here. Uh, this is still chapter 2. 2.70 problem. 
more than 100 problems in chapter 2 this is chapter 3 tests of statistical hypothesis so looks pretty interesting okay so this is a book uh, problems in mathematical statistics a continuation of mathematical statistics book by the same authors uh, yes so uh, detailed solutions are given to non-standard problems uh, each chapter contains necessary theoretical material and formulas so this is the book problems in mathematical statistics so we saw about 11 problem books in mathematics uh, I'll mention the link below if you are interested you can purchase purchase them uh, I, I, we, I deliver worldwide so thank you for watching if you want more content like this please subscribe